This is a topic I still haven't made up my mind on yet, so I thought I'd throw it out there for discussion because I really don't know what to think. Firstly, I think it's super important to be confident with who you are and how you look, and I also think we should be nicer to people, to their faces and behind their backs, and support their decisions rather than trying to tear them down with rude, bitchy comments. A lot of people struggle with body confidence and how they look, so if you're one of these lucky people who don't give a damn what anyone else thinks, then you go Glen Coco. Good on you. Something I have noticed recently is the amount of revealing or sexy or slutty, depending on your view of the situation, photos have been posted on the internet, especially in younger people. I personally was quite shocked at seeing a somewhat revealing photo that a 15 year old had posted on, Inst on Instagram but apparently that's not that uncommon. I understand if you've worked hard to achieve the body you've got and I completely support it if you want to show it off, as you should, but it did make me start to think about why people do it. So I did a bit of research online as to why people do post revealing photos of themselves and there was loads of stuff there about having low self-esteem, about having high self-esteem, about people getting off on the thought of other people seeing them like that, but the thing that resonated the most with me and seemed the most realistic thing of them all was that the people who post them want to get a reaction. Good or bad, most people will have an opinion on seeing a semi-naked photo and obviously the people that post those photos want the good reactions. And it's not even just photos, YouTube videos like this one will get monitored to see how it's been taken, how the public have reacted to it, how well it's done. Creators will look for patterns to see what kind of things people enjoy about their videos. Actually, when you think about it, anything that's posted on social media is done to get a reaction. That's why you share it with everyone, because you want them to see it. That Otherwise, you just hide it away in a little journal. Anything that's posted on the internet, their creators want a reaction to. Be it a good one or a bad one, they're looking for that reaction. And I mean, Really, what, what is wrong with getting attention, or seeking attention, or wanting the attention? It doesn't hurt anyone, like, what what is actually wrong with it, with attention seeking? It's always seen as this negative, negative thing, but why? Each like, each view, each comment is like a little positive affirmation and almost a compliment, and compliments generally make people feel good about themselves. So I don't see anything wrong with that. The only thing is though, when people rely too much on the reaction they get back from their peers and their friends and the people who have such an influence on their life, they can get caught up in the numbers game. Why hasn't this post got as many likes as this post? This one's only got 11 likes. Does that mean people don't find me attractive? Are my photography or editing skills getting worse? You, you'd get too caught up in the whole stigma of it all because you rely so much on getting the likes and the positive feedback from people. And with the digital era in full swing, it's become so much easier to share things to your friends and your peers. And it's allowed such easy access to media articles and celebrities like the Kardashians who are always posting about their curves and just celebrities in general who are always looking glossy and perfect and, and never ugly at all. People aspire to be like them. They're seen as this glamorous kind of thing that everyone should want to be like. You'd, you supposedly supposed to look a certain way, you're supposed to dress a certain way because of this kind of influence you've had. And because of this influence, people have grown up with the likes of the Kardashians and they're seen as normal, I guess. And with equality in the feminist movement being an all, at an all-time high, people are questioning, and with good reason, why it's acceptable for men to go topless but not for women to do so. I mean, who decided that when a man is semi-naked that it's attractive, it's acceptable, people ooh and ah about how good looking they are, but as soon as a woman shows a bit of skin they're seen as like prostitutes or they're provocative. And why do men, not even just men, why do people think that by showing a bit of skin or a pose that's particularly sexy, that that ultimately means they're easy or that they are a slut. You don't know anything about them from seeing a photo. It's, it's not fair to make judgments about a person based on the whole stigma that comes with the way they're dressed. 
I mean, when was it decided that leather and thigh-high boots was a provocative thing? And why are women sexualized so much more than men are? Little Mix's recent appearance on The X Factor is a prime example of this. They got slammed for the way they dressed, saying that they looked like prostitutes, that they weren't good role models for kids while they were gyrating about the stage. They did get some really supportive comments as well, like, oh my god, you guys look amazing, your confidence is inspiring, and slay! But even the way the story was commented on by different news articles really showed the difference between people and their thoughts on the subject. The Mirror, for example, published a really negative story about it all and featured lots of comments from the public saying mean things about them or saying how they were slutty and forgot their clothes. But Pretty52, another not so well known kind of article based website, said, and I quote, they were branded provocative, stripper like, and various other terms you really can't be bothered to list, to be honest. It's 2016, guys, come on. Which leads me on to believe that the way people think is changing, and that's good, right? I mean, it means we can support each other and celebrate in each other's confidence and say nice things and boost people up for being for being great, rather than trying to rip into them and make them feel worse about themselves or slating their confidence or the way they look. We can stop sexualizing naked women, and naked men for that matter. I mean, we were all born naked. Clothes were just a means of keeping ourselves warm. But then all the youngsters need to chill out as well with all the semi-naked photos. But then, how old does a person need to be before they can post an acceptably nude photo? Like, what is the age limit? Is there an age limit? And if there is, who said that's the right age limit to be? I'm so confused and conflicted. I don't think there is a right answer to this, and I do think if I were to ask the same questions in a few years' time, the answers could be completely different. But I really need your help with this, guys, because I still have got no further in what I think is right or what I should think. I just want people to be nice. Let me know what you think about the subject, be it publicly in the comments below or privately on whatever means of communication you choose. For some reason this has really affected me, and I don't know why, but I think it's quite a controversial topic. Help me out. Thanks.